This is a 1950 plus or minus a couple years Ford 8N tractor, farm tractor. One of the most popular tractors I think ever made in terms of number sold at least and uh, so it would be almost 70 years old. It would be using this all winter up here at the sawmill. We've used it, we've cut logs out in the woods, we've hauled them down with it um, and then once they're at the mill um, we've used it um, to push the logs closer to the mill to make that part a little bit easier. Um, I've used it to plow this area all winter. Um, I use it, there's a wagon, tractor wagon over here that I've used to uh, use the tractor to haul around. So when I load up beams from the mill onto the wagon and then I haul them over to their storage piles, I used it for that. We have more logs we cut in the fall that are buried in the snow. So we've been slowly working away at uh, pulling them out of the snow bank, but we got to dig each one out and pull it out. But the tractor pulls them out pretty good. And then the future we'll probably use it to haul the uh, beams and boards and planks that I've cut from here over to the campsite where we're building, which is a few miles from here. So this tractor is great. I mean, uh, so if you look at it, uh, starting at the back here, we got a nice uh, blade on. So this blade we can plow with, we can push logs with, uh, we can turn it around and pull forward if we need to. Uh, we can hook on to it if, you know, for light pulls. It's got a uh, power takeoff on the back. We're not using that really for anything, but we could. Uh, moving up a little bit. It's got uh, nice tires on it with chains, so that helps a lot in the, uh, the winter. Um, coming up to the middle of the tractor here, we've got the independent brakes. So you can brake the left tire or the right tire independently, which helps. If you push this brake down, you're braking this side. If you push the other brake down, you're braking the other side. And that comes in handy because uh, these tractors, they don't have a locking differential. So both tires, when you're stuck, they won't spin at the same time. But if one is spinning, you can stop it from spinning by putting the brake on. It's got uh, if you, this lever here. If you pull that up or down, it will uh, raise and lower the uh, three-point hitch on the back. So you can raise and lower your uh, implement on the back of the tractor. So that works pretty good. We get four forward gears, one reverse gear. Uh, so that's about all you need for this type of work. Throttle lever and that sort of thing. Um, it's two wheel drive, so these, uh, these wheels don't uh, offer any traction, but makes it pretty maneuverable. You can really move this thing around pretty easily. And uh, I'd say those are the main features that come to mind. It's got a 12 volt battery on it. So a lot of these tractors, well I think these tractors all came with a six volt battery, but a lot of people switch them over to 12 volts so they start up a little better and uh, I'm no expert on these tractors but I've been using this one off and on for I don't know a long time I guess nothing serious we had a leak in the radiator that was last week but uh, we fixed that with just there's a pour in liquid sealant stuff that seemed to fix that pretty good I checked it this morning it's still got lots of coolant in it um, we changed the transmission oil changed the motor oil but uh, no it's worked started up every uh, Every day all winter. The only thing I would say is if it's cold, I've got a small generator that I will heat up up in the cabin and bring it down um, and then plug it in to this for about half an hour before I start it just to heat it up. It's worked good. This, uh, this tractor, well I keep it in a tarp so I keep it dry, but yeah probably if it was wet you might have some trouble. Uh, I also cover up the uh, exhaust here with something so the rain doesn't get down in the engine. Although I think it would be hard for that to happen, but it could. Uh, no, we haven't had any problems, but it hasn't been wet this winter either. If I were to buy a tractor, I would probably want one with four-wheel drive um, because this, even if it's just a little icy here, you can have a lot of trouble on the little grade that this whole site is set up on. Um, also, I'd probably like a bucket on the front. That would make snow removal a lot easier. What's happened here is the space has gradually gotten smaller as it snowed more because I've just run out of places to put the snow. I can't lift it up over top of the banks very easily. Um, and probably a little more horsepower. I don't know exactly what this would be. Maybe it would be, I really don't know, 20 some. Uh, but uh, something maybe in the 30 to 40 horsepower range might be a little better for hauling logs and that sort of thing. Another thing the new tractors have is they call it rollover protection system. But if you ever flip this tractor, there's nothing really to protect you where the new tractors have a uh, bar cage thing. Uh, so that's a, just a feature on a new tractor. But not to say I don't like this. This tractor's been great. It's done everything we wanted it to do and more. 
I have no plans to get a tractor right away, but if I did, I probably would get those features. So a lot of, a lot of these tractors have been sort of jimmy-rigged different ways, but this one I think is uh, fairly straightforward. So that we're on a bit of a side hill, so first I'll put the clutch in. Put on the brake just to make sure I don't roll forward. I'll put the transmission in neutral. It's a little cold, so I'll pull the choke out. Then there's a uh, electrical switch there that you need to have on on the left-hand side. Not all of them have it exactly there. That's something we've added on. And then the starter button's here, so I'll press that and we'll hope she starts, okay? Put the choke back in. Starts up pretty good.